factorial designs. So, so far we've talked about in experiments manipulating one factor, like the treatment or control group. But sometimes you want to manipulate two factors. So maybe therapy type as well as medication. And we call these factorial designs where you have two categorical variables. There is a particular nomenclature associated with this sort of design. So if we were to say we did a three by two factorial design, that means we have two variables, three by two, because we're talking about two of them. The first variable has three different levels and the second variable has two levels. So for example, we might have control, treatment A, treatment B, that's the three, by two, medication versus no medication. We could also have a three by three, placebo, treatment A, treatment B, medication A, medication B, placebo. And we might have a three by five, which means we have three levels of one variable and five levels of another variable. Or we could have a two by two by two, which means we have three variables we're looking at. For example, therapy A versus therapy B, medication A versus medication B, and male versus female. Or we might have a four by four by four by four by four. You you get the idea. And these factors, just as before, can be between designs, which means that only one participant is available per level of the group. They're either assigned the treatment or the control, and they're either assigned the medication or the non-medication. Or we could have a within design where everybody experiences both treatments and both types of medication. Or it could be a mix of both. We could have a between for the treatment, so people are either in the placebo group or the treatment group, and we could have a within for the medication, so people receive medication and then they don't receive medication, or vice versa. Now, in your book, they make a big deal about these factorial designs being categorical, but really the mathematics doesn't care. What does matter, however, is whether the variable was randomly assigned. So for the first two variables, treatment and medication, those were randomly assigned, but gender obviously is not randomly assigned. And again, the reason this matters is because if you randomly assign something, it allows you to make causal inferences, or at least strengthens your evidence for causal inferences. But now that we have multiple factors or multiple variables, now we have to understand the difference between main effects and interaction effects. And if you want to learn more about main effects and interaction effects, see my video linked in the description. So that was actually a short video, wasn't it? So with that, let's review our learning objectives. Understand what a factorial design is. Again, that means you have more than one variable. Understand the nomenclature, like a two by two and a three by three and a three by two and a two by two by two. And then finally, your learning objective, which will carry actually into the next video is identifying main effects and interaction effects.